In this fourth and final video all about drop shipping products, we are going to go back into the Spocket app and go through how to actually add the products into the app and get them added to your Shopify store so that you can start selling them online. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, owner of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and we've been Shopify experts for over five years now. Again, we're excited to be partnering with Spocket for this video, all about setting up the Spocket app for your Shopify store. So if you saw the other three videos that are in this series, this is the last one of it. The first one, we went through the pros and cons of drop shipping. And then for the second video, we went through some of the top Shopify apps. In the last video, which I'll link above as well for you to check out, we started setting up the Spocket app to connect to our Shopify store and started going through trying to find distributors that we wanted in the US and in Europe to ship our products for us. So in this video, we're going to look at some of the products that they offer and go ahead and start adding them into our store. So we're going to hop into my computer now, but before we do, make sure to click the link below in the description to get signed up for their free trial. Plus, if you click the link below, you'll actually get a 15% off discount. So thanks again to our partners at Spocket. And let's go ahead and hop into my screen and let's get started. So I am back in the Shopify Spocket admin. So to get there, you would just go to your Shopify back in over here to apps in the left hand corner and then click on the Spocket app from there. So you'll see here it opens up to this first tab, which is find products. So in the last video, we went through how to find products and suppliers that were specifically in the US and or Europe and how to search by specific supplier as well. So we're going to go ahead and select by location and I'm going to choose United States because I know I want the supplier to be in the United States. If I already had a supplier in mind, I could choose them from here again. We can then have a couple ways of searching for products. So we can either enter specific keywords, we can search by category if you have kind of a general category of the products that you're looking at. We can also choose to do a price filter of minimum price and maximum price that we're interested in. And you could choose to turn on the premium products. So premium products are things that are included in the pro plan as well as discounted products. So what we're trying to accomplish here is we're doing this for our store Tomo Fit Apparel, which sells printed on demand t-shirts and tank tops through the Printful app. And so we have kind of a fitness niche. So we're looking at adding other fitness related products that are complementing our products that we already have. So adding things in like sports bras or leggings are gonna be what we're really looking for. So I'm gonna turn off the premium products for now and I am going to just type in leggings. And we have ships from the US and I'm just gonna hit search. And so now we can see a variety of options that we have available. Again, the premium is only available on the pro plan, as well as if you see this extra 35% off, that's a highly discounted additional item. And that's also available on the pro plan as well. So there is some benefit of doing that, but. For this tutorial, we are just going to find some leggings that is gonna work for us. So a lot of the leggings that I'm finding that I like, like these here, are part of the premium option. So again, that's the pro plan. So I'm going to, as you can see here, this try paid features for free. I'm going to go ahead and click in that and I'm going to sign up for the free trial. So it's a seven day free trial. So I'm gonna sign up for that now that we can go ahead and start getting those options. Okay, so now I am back on the Find Products page after signing up for the Pro free trial. And I clicked this time the Premium Products option because that's kind of the reason why we upgraded to the Pro. So I wanna make sure that I'm just seeing these premium products. So this caught my eye before, so let's go ahead and add this product in. So you can see 
a lot of information right here as you hover over it. So you can see here the supplier's name that they're also shipping from the US, the price of what it's gonna cost you for the leggings of actually purchasing them from the supplier, as well as the recommended retail price. Now again, you can make that whatever you want it to be. This is just their recommendation. If you click on the photo here, you'll actually get more options. So you can see here additional images that you can use for your store and listing the product, as well as descriptions and sizes here. You can also see that the processing time is two to three days. So that's as soon as they get the order from you, actually fulfilling the order and shipping it out. So once this processing time is done, you'll actually get the shipping tracking code which is included in the free plan, and then be able to email the customer and let them know that the order is on the way to them. So you can also see here the shipping times of in the US, it's gonna take four to seven business days to get to them, as well as the shipping price. So it's $4.99 to ship for the first item, and any additional items from this supplier are no additional cost. So a cool thing that I really like about the Spocket app as well is that you can order samples. So we talked about this in the first video in this series about the pros and cons of drop shipping. And one of my cons was that you couldn't really check on the quality and make sure that it was a really nice quality that was being shipped out to people. Now I will say that Spocket is verified in terms of they verify all of their suppliers to make sure that that quality is there and that they are also a reliable person and they ship their orders on time and correctly. But I think it's still really beneficial to order samples because then you can actually see the product yourself. You can hold it in your hands and you can take your own photos. So if you wanted to go a different route with the photography, then you can have you know the product on hand to do just that. So to order samples, you would just hit this button in here and you can choose the size that you want as well as the quantity, and you can continue on through there of ordering the sample. You can also click in here for the open product variations, and we can see the different sizes that are available, as well as the inventory totals in that, and the price for each size. Sometimes on clothing, you'll see additional sizes be, like the extra large be a little bit higher of a price, so it's nice to see what the price is for each individual variant. Okay, so if we are excited about this and we want to add this in, we're going to then just hit add to import list. Now, this does not automatically add it into your Shopify store. This adds it to an area where you can keep everything grouped together and then you can still go in and edit the product before you push it live to your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and hit add to import list. Okay, I'm going to cross out of that. And if you didn't want to get all that additional information that I just went through, you can just hover over it and hit add to import list from here. But you can see now that I've added it in, I've got this check area over there and I'm ready to go in and actually edit the product information. So to do that, we're just going to hover over here and we're going to hit import list. So you can see our one product that we just added in you have the ability to change the product's name. So I definitely do recommend doing that so it's more branded to you as well as it can add in some of your keywords that you're wanting to be ranked for in the search engines. You can also tag it if you're using product tags to search for products on your store. You can choose the type that it is. So I'm just gonna put this as leggings and you could choose the collection to have it go to as well. So I'm gonna choose the legging collection that I had already set up on my Shopify store. So next, let's click in on description. And here you can change the description to be whatever you want it to be. I would definitely make this be a lot more readable. And while it is great to have sizing in there as well as material, you definitely wanna have it more as talking about the benefits and how your customer is going to feel when wearing it. You kind of want to sell it to them by talking about the product more instead of just listing out items like this. So you'll definitely want to come in and edit this description, but we'll just leave this for right now how it is. Next, you have the variance area, and you can choose from here to offer certain sizes. 
So let's say, for example, you didn't want to offer a certain size. You can just come in here and unclick it and automatically now it's not going to give that option in your Shopify store. So if we can also see over here the inventory again that is available as well as the price you pay. So we can choose to have the sale price be whatever we want over here. So I personally like round numbers. So I'm going to change these to 38. I'm using round numbers everywhere else in my store. So I just want to keep that consistent. If you didn't check out the shipping prices before, you can check out the shipping prices here. And finally, let's go to images. So you can choose which products you want to add into your store. You can look at the image in greater detail there, as well as you can then edit the image and choose to edit the alt tag. So if we, let's say these are kind of similar, where this shows a front and a back view, we can just come in here and uncheck that product image so that we don't have to have duplicate images like that. So once you are done, so we can just save this if we were still wanting to work on it a little bit more, or if we're ready to push it to the store, we can hit push to store. If you change your mind, you can hit remove product. But let's go ahead and push this to our store. Okay, so our import list where we're at now is empty. So now we'll go to my products. And now you can see this here. So if we go to view on store, it's gonna actually show us what it looks like in our store in the back end area. So if you wanted to, you can make additional changes there as well. And I'm gonna to choose to view the item here so I can see what it looks like on the front end of our store. So again, we kept that description really long. We definitely would want to clean that up. But other than that, it looks great. And you can also see that we added it to our collection legging designs and it was automatically added in because we chose that collection from the process. So if we go back over here to the Spocket backend, once you start having orders come in, you'll see them here on the orders area and you can then go in and choose to fulfill each of the orders as soon as they come in. So that's actually sending the item out to the supplier to fulfill and kind of getting the information to them. And it's also going to be billing your credit card that you have on file that you set up in the settings area of Spocket. And that's really all there is to it. So it's a super easy app to set up and start looking through products. Again, if you just start adding in products that you like to your import list, you don't have to add them all in. So you can just kind of peruse and decide which ones are kind of interesting to you or maybe catch your eye the most, and then kind of fine tune the list of what products you're actually wanting to move forward with once you kind of have them all there together and then push just the ones you want to your store. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. So what are your thoughts? I want to hear it. So comment below and let us know if you're going to be adding this app to your Shopify store to manage products and what products that you found that you are interested in drop shipping as well. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and be the first to be notified about new videos that we put out each week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.